To log into your account, you'll want to go to ourexchangeportland.org and click on Member Login in the upper left-hand corner. This will take you to the login page. You can type in the email address that you used on your online application and your password. If you can't remember your email address, you can click Can't Log In and a temporary password will be emailed to you. On the login page, you can also see a member help guide, check out our most recent newsletter, see upcoming events, uh, donate to Our Exchange Portland, look at our Twitter updates, um, and also check out our Facebook page. So when you click log in, you'll be taken to your member account and the first page you'll be at is the My News page and we'll go over that in a little bit but the first thing you want to do when you log in is make sure your profile info is correct um, your profile has your name your address uh, birth date your username used to log in you can change your password um, bio is a great opportunity uh, to let other members know more about you and uh, don't worry that uh, no one can see your street address uh, but it's used um, when you search for services uh, there's a mapping feature that lets you see how far away other members are from you so you can, might want to uh, exchange with those closest to you as opposed to those who live far away other members can see your um, town and zip code though. You also want to make sure that your contact info is correct. You can add multiple email addresses, uh, phone numbers, websites. Um, you can make info private so that only the office can see it. Um, and you want to make sure that if your phone number changes that you update it can type in a new phone number, click save to update or delete an old phone number. You can also put in your street address here if you do want other members to be able to see it. So when you first log in, uh, the first thing you want to do after that is under my hours, go to my services and update what services you want to provide or what services you want to uh, receive. Um, you can add services one by one via service category. So there's lots of different categories. If you go to cooking, uh, you can see that there's ethnic cooking, there's baked goods. So you can say that you want to provide a service, yes receive service no or change it to provide service no receive service yes um, and that will put it saying that you want to receive that service you can also do both saying that you both want to provide and receive the same service um, and this is a place that you can put in a service description so baked good is pretty broad category so you might want to put in that I make fantastic chocolate chip cookies and this search description will be searchable in the search bar up here which we'll go over in a little bit so you can click add and that'll add uh, that category to the services that you provide uh, another way to add your offers or add requests are under bulk add offers or bulk add requests. And here is a big list that you can um, mark what it is that you want to uh, provide uh, in different categories and then you check off multiple 
things and then you can click update services and it'll add it to your my services page and if you do that you'll want to update the service description here and you once you type in a more specific service description of what it is you're offering you can click save you can also add images if you leave the page and don't click save if you update something then you'll lose the information so make sure you click save and once you've added a service uh, you can quickly see who wants that service by click on a link below it that says see the member requesting the service and this gives a list of every member that wants that service that you said you'd provide uh, it lets you know uh, how far away they are from you the last time they exchanged so if they're exchanged more recently they might be a more active member than someone who hasn't exchanged in a really long time uh, you can see their town their contact info that they made public their bio um, if they typed in the service description you could click on the um, category you can see every member that offers uh, that wants that category um, and if you click on their name you can see a more in-depth profile uh, so you can see every thing that this uh, person marked that they want to provide or receive and you can also see how many exchanges they've had with how many different people and the percentage of people that were happy with the exchanges um, as well as the last time uh, when they since uh, when were they a member so if they don't have a lot of exchanges maybe it's because they're a new member and if uh, I'll go over uh, how um, sometimes you'll see a little heart next to a service and that'll mean that uh, another member liked that service and um, I'll go over how you can mark that you like that service in a little bit so you'll want to uh, another way to search service it's pretty simple it's just type in a word click search and you can see a link to everybody that's providing that service as well as a link to everybody that wants to receive that service and you can see that uh, if they live close by they'll be highlighted in yellow and if they uh, made a recent exchange they're highlighted in blue Another cool thing uh, while you're searching services, if you click the add button next to the service category, it'll add it to the services that you want to provide. So, um, and, and then you can type in a service description um, next to, uh, under my services. Um, and if you want to type in a town name or a zip code, so you only want to search services in a specific town or zip code, you can type in the zip code next to uh, the word you're searching for, and only the people that live in that zip code will pop up. Another way to search services is click on offers. You can see all the different categories here, like cooking. Um, and like I said you can add these services while you're searching for things that you want people to help you with you may see oh I can help other people with that and add that to your my services you offer so this person utilized the uh, service description where they typed in uh, you know brownies so if you typed in the word brownies or cakes which are in their search description, their profile would come up. The search bar also um, lets you see things, um, search results from the My News wall. So if you click on My News, which is where you logged in originally, 
you can type in short little messages here that other mess that other members can reply to so you may say that uh, there's you're playing at a local coffee shop and you'd like to invite people to come see you and they can comment oh when exactly is uh, this coffee shop uh, what's the directions to the coffee shop if they want to find out more info And then it creates an ongoing conversation. If you just want, if you don't want to do an ongoing conversation and maybe you have a bunch of, uh, it's a longer than 140 characters description of uh, a service you're looking for or something you want to let the community know about, uh, there's the eblast uh, bulletin board here. You click on the category, uh, the heading for the eblast. And you can search the eBlast different ways. Um, and you can also post your own eBlast. So here are my news. Post an eBlast. You can type in different uh, header, the where, the when, and the info. You can select a category that it maybe it's uh, you, an item you want to exchange or a service that you're providing receiving or just community news what neighborhood you want it to be in um, when it expires click post and I'll do a new one click delete and it won't post anything so as I said the search bar also searches the messages here so if you type in the word garden which is in that message you'll see that besides the providers and receivers who utilize the word garden that message uh, popped up and if you want to uh, if you're looking for a member and you don't know their last name or their first name you can also search for them and uh, there, all the people who have the name that you're looking for will show up, and you can say, Oh, yeah, it was Mona Lisa that helped me, not Lisa, somebody else. On the My News page, you can, there's also, besides the um, message board, there's different tabs here that you can see a member list of all the different members. So once you have done an exchange, you'll want to report your hours under My Hours Report Hours. Usually the provider is in charge of receive, uh, reporting the hours, um, but if the provider doesn't have access to the computer, the receiver can do it as well. Type in the number of hours in uh, quarter hour increments, so an hour and 45 minutes would be 1.75 hours. Type in the date, uh, the number of members you exchange with. If you exchanged uh, the same service for the same number of hours on the same date with multiple members, you can uh, put in uh, multiple members' names, but usually you're just exchanging with one person. Type in part of the member's name. If more than one person has that name, you'll select it from a drop down menu. Type in uh, the service, select the service category, and the service. Click record transactions and it will update it on your My Statement page where you can see all the services that you provided and received. Um, another way to uh, report hours if you're doing the same service with the same person on different days regularly you can just hit the duplicate button and change the date and the number of hours and click record transaction
but you can't do a future date, i guess.